I hope you have noticed that this title does not say Science, Nature and Religion. Science and Nature I have no problem with obviously, but religion as a word I try and avoid whenever possible. In the 21st century it has now become a word associated with the evils of extremism, violence, terrorism, war and death. The choice of enlightenment you will have to judge for yourself as you listen. If you have listened to any of the other videos on this channel you will know by now that I do believe that God exists and that I am a Christian sceptic. The words Christian and sceptic don't go well together but all I am saying by this expression is that I don't believe anything until I have questioned everything down to the last nut and bolt. Evidence for anything in the religious realm such as the existence of God is virtually non-existent. The only evidence if it can be described as evidence is subjective. What happens in your own life? In theology this is usually called revelation and all these have happened at some time in my life. I've had many answers to prayer, dreams giving solutions to problems, unnoticed happenings which became life-changing events, at least one supernatural occurrence and at a time when most of my friends have passed away I am given extra time by the referee. That one by the way was quite unexpected and was not contrived from anything spiritualist. They will all take a long time to describe so I am not going to bore you with any details. There are far more objective reasons for believing that a supernatural being exists. Well actually a supernatural being, essence, spirit, entity is absolutely obliged to exist and this would be for moral reasons alone. In this world there is so much death, destruction and injustice brought about by natural disasters alone that it is totally impossible to make any sense of it all without an ultimate arbiter of justice and that would have to be justice in another or next life because there is certainly no justice in this life. This means either God doesn't exist and we live in the cruelest possible world or God exists and doesn't care and we still live in the cruelest possible world or God exists and is doing something about it quite unknown to us. These three can quickly be reduced to two as the God exists and doesn't care is just pointless and is not a God at all. If there has to be a God then it has to be a God that cares. This is not the traditional Christian God of love by the way. This is way way beyond any logic as I hope to explain later. So the God question has only two alternatives. Anything in between such as agnosticism or any form of sitting on the fence are unacceptable in the face of so much human suffering. The weight of apparent evidence is of course all in the first option. There is no evidence for the third. Well that is objective evidence which can be observed and examined by all. There is plenty of subjective evidence but for this talk all subjective evidence I will count as inadmissible and pointless. I will present evidence from the Bible and the natural world but neither of these can be described as real evidence. It all depends on how you look at them. For example we need to consider the possibility that if a supernatural being exists then he, she or it may not deal in evidence at all. It is perfectly possible that he, she or it deals in hidden clues, parables, 
and mysteries and has left us all to figure it out for ourselves. I don't know whether you've noticed but objective evidence which is what science for example lives and dies for is easy and requires very little human input in terms of effort. Hidden clues or parables of life require a lot of human effort to sort them all out and perhaps this is what is required. It is all summed up in the expression there is no such thing as a free lunch. In my own years of studying the Bible and examining science I am completely convinced that this is how God works. Clues, parables and mysteries. We will look in vain for objective evidence simply because it is just too easy. This is why those scientists who are scientists by profession and then think it is part of their responsibility to include the supernatural into their work and then show that the supernatural cannot exist because there is no evidence are seriously missing the point about evidence. You will have noticed that at the beginning of this talk the word science is included in the title. So just for a moment let's look at a scientific clue for thinking that there could be a supernatural realm of some description. The cosmologists tell us that the chances of the earth existing anywhere in the universe and have the potential to support a form of life have been conservatively estimated at 1 in 10 to the power of 30. Remember that represents the odds in favour of the earth existing. In other words virtually impossible. But as you know those odds have been overcome and the earth exists and life exists on the earth. Also remember that this figure is probably underestimated as it applies to there just being a planet with potential for life. If you factor in at least three more essentials such as just the right conditions for life to start the probability of that life becoming self-sufficient in the form of evolution and then part of that life becoming intelligent self-aware and conscious of right and wrong where does that leave the odds? Probably somewhere in the region of one chance in 10 to the power of 90. You'll have to listen to one of the other videos on this channel to see how I work this out. But what has this to do with the supernatural? Simply that the same odds can apply to God. I would imagine that most people listening to this video cannot make up their mind either way about the supernatural but if pressed most people would opt for the one in ten trillion trillion zillion million million chance for the supernatural to exist because there is no obvious evidence. In other words we might as well say it's impossible and get on with our lives and forget about the problem. But remember the numbers tell you a different story. It is equally impossible for the earth to exist and life to exist on the earth. But it does.